Gilgamesh. Dr. Sun! I was expecting you last night. Ah, yes sir, I was stabilizing a medical experiment. Leaving it to fail would have been unforgivable. Actually, you might be interested in some of the details. At the moment, I am interested in keeping your father alive. A subject I can only assume is of some small interest to yourself as well. Father? Father, I'm here. He is heavily sedated. He cannot hear you. What happened? The reports I was given are... Unbelievable? Well, yes! Ha! <sighs> For unbelievable. You should hear how your father got here. Let me tell you about Airman Higgs. <laughs> no. Let me tell you about Airman Higgs. When they found the Baron, he was severely injured. He was taken aboard a medical ship, as was Captain Dupree. According to her, she was injured while destroying a merry-go-round. I suspect a blow to the head is more likely. They were so worried about the Baron, they set out for the hospital immediately. Even though the fight was still raging, they were hit by some kind of cannon. The alarms woke Airman 3rd Class Axel Higgs. He reported for emergency duty. He found the main cabin in flames and the crew dead. Then he saw the monsters. Some kind of biological weapon on Betten. Higgs could see that there was no help to be had from the rest of the fleet. And the monsters were between him and the evacuation gigs. Things were actually going fairly well until he found the Baron. While he was dragging him to the gig, he encountered Captain Dupree, who was delirious. She broke his arm. He knocked her out, but broke her jaw in the process. He got them both into the gig and shoved off just as the ship went down. He is not rated as a pilot or navigator, but he set the ship controls toward Mechanicsburg and rigged a crude automatic pilot. He then began to apply first aid to the Baron, which is when he was again attacked by Captain Dupree. This time she broke his leg, but he finally managed to subdue her. He tried to find some way to restrain her, which is when she bit him. That's infected by the way. She also got in a good, solid kick at the gig's controls. He did his best to fix the damage, then tried to set his own arm. And apparently blacked out from the pain. Only to awaken as the gig was crashing into a farmer's pond. He dragged the Baron and Dupree ashore, where he encountered a nesting goose, which broke his other arm. The farmhouse was some distance away, but, as fortune would have it, there were troops there. They had been hearing strange reports coming from Sturm Halton, so they were already jumpy when they saw Higgs coming. They thought he was a revenant and shot him in the leg. Afterwards, they were very sorry. They saw to the Baron and Dupree, called for emergency transport, and gave Higgs some rum. Lots of rum. Before he passed out, he told them everything. The fight, the loss of the fleet, the monsters. And, of course, they were already full of news about the Lady Heterodyne. The whole troop was here in town within hours. By the time we knew what had happened, it was far too late to suppress the stories. You mean, the Heterodyne heir, my father nearly killed... The whole town knows? The town? My dear boy, they're probably discussing it in the Forbidden City at this very moment. I don't want to set the world on fire.